Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Let's get right to our top story. It's the latest on the COVID-19 in Arizona. More than 35% of Arizonans have had at least one vaccination. And for the second day in a row, no new deaths are being reported. More than 23% of adult Arizonans are now fully vaccinated. But the virus still continues to move through the community as thousands of new COVID cases are discovered each week. Team 12's Colleen Sikor is live in Tempe at the state's newest vaccination site, looking at the trends that we're seeing. Colleen? Now guys, seven day case averages have been inching up over the past few weeks, which has virus modelers keeping a close eye on what's to come. While each shot makes a difference, COVID-19 isn't and likely won't go away completely. I think we're going to be stuck here for uh, a bit longer. Over the last three weeks, the seven day average of COVID-19 cases has slowly climbed. Dr. Joe Gerald with the University of Arizona has been modeling COVID-19 projections in the state. He calls this trend a plateau after a decline in cases following the winter surge. I think if we had maintained some of our policy restrictions uh, a bit longer uh, and, and people would have uh, remained more adherent, we could have pushed rates down lower. State Health Director Dr. Kara Chris says some of the cases are from new labs being brought on and positive COVID-19 tests confirmed from over the course of the pandemic, but says they are watching the trends. We may see cases go up, but if the same um, impact to our healthcare systems and um, deaths does not occur, we're going to continue to monitor and, and stay the course. Things are comparatively better than the winter surge, but Dr. Gerald says it's not great. Our community transmission levels are still in the substantial category uh, and much higher than they were between the, the summer and fall outbreaks. ASU's COVID-19 modeling team believes a thousand Arizonans' lives will have been saved come May 1st thanks to the number of COVID-19 vaccinations. Dr. Gerald believes we likely won't see another surge like last year, but warns we're still a while off from reaching herd immunity in the state. Number one answer remains get vaccinated. As of this morning, 18,000 vex, excuse me, vaccine appointments were available at state sites. You can find information on how to register and book your appointment at 12news.com and in the 12 News app. We're live in Tempe, Colleen Sakura, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.